Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today is a pretty exciting video. But first, I should probably address the fact that I haven't uploaded videos in two weeks. Basically, summer school has been very, very intense. I have been very stressed out because, you know, that's just me. I already have a bunch of pre-recorded videos, I just haven't had time to edit them. But I was like, if I'm gonna come back, I might as well come back with the video that I've been wanting to make for months. Which you have probably seen by the title of this video, is YouTubers Clothing Lines. And I actually bought all of this stuff, well, most of this stuff in April, but then now it's July. So <laughs> I went back to the websites to see if there was anything more I wanted to get from them. And the only website I really got more stuff from was Steel. So I ended up with a lot of product from Steel. That's going to be the last brand that we try, but let's get into this because this is probably going to be very very long the first brand we're gonna try out is Suki and it is Marzia and PewDiePie's line together and it's actually super super cute so I'm really excited about this and it came with cute little stickers so that was exciting I'm really sad because I haven't been able to wear all of this stuff because I was like nope I have to film my video before I wear any of this and some of the stuff I can no longer wear because it is a million degrees outside and they might be a little bit creased because I did look at everything and try things on when I got them I got this cute little basic pink and white t-shirt with their little logo so this is pretty cute I mean it's just like a basic pink t-shirt but it's pretty cute it's very thick material definitely not a cheap material and I also got this long sleeve turtleneck, which I believe this, I'm actually not sure what this is, but this stuff is so cute with this, and the tag is super cute. So the turtleneck is a lot tighter, but not in the neck area, which is kind of weird. Again, same thick material, and that's a cute little accent. It's also very long. Okay, so the next brand is Eggy, and this is actually by someone I, who I was not subscribed to and had not heard of before. Her name is Jen M, and this is one of the shirts I got from her. She had a really cute collection online, but I did get a few pieces that I liked, and this is one of them. Basically what I loved about this t-shirt was how different it is. Like the sleeves, one is purple, one of them is blue, and it's attached to this Dare Inspired shirt, which says Eggy. And I just loved how weird it was. Like I love finding weird, interesting pieces. Another item that I thought was so cute, like I had to get a medium in this, but I didn't care because it was so cute. I just needed this in my life. Is this cute pink and white sweater. I think this is such a cute sweater. I do wish it was a little bit more fitted. It the last piece I got from Eggy is this cute white top. And this is really, really, really small. I ordered this in a medium at first and then it didn't fit so I ended up getting large and it still doesn't fit like right I don't know but I'll still try it on so you guys can see what it looks like I hope I can fit into it by life is beautiful because this would be a pretty cute top for that now moving on to Lauren Elizabeth's clothing. This was the first brand I had an issue with. I ordered everything to my P.O. box and this was not delivered to my P.O. box. I had to pick it up at the most random UPS store in Fremont in a random hotel on the second floor. It was a thing just to find this place. But I finally got my stuff so that I could, you know, pay a $5 holding fee. So that was really annoying. Um, so if you have a P.O. box, probably don't order it there. This is the first piece. And although it is very, very soft, I just don't think it's as flattering on 
as it looked on the model. The material is very, very comfortable. I mean, this is meant to be more of a casual pajama type of top. This next piece is the whole entire reason I ordered anything from XLE. I literally fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and it's just this white cable knit sweater. Again, another sweater I won't be able to wear until winter. But this sold out and then she ended up bringing it back and pretty much every time she has a collection that sells out, which this is like the only thing I was able to get that I thought was cute. So at least I got the sweater that I've been wanting for a long time. Hopefully it looks as cute on as I hope it does. This is definitely super cute for the winter. I've been looking for a sweater like this for a really long time. Not super crazy about the neck part. I'm not sure if you're supposed to fold it in or not. If I do fold it, it kind of makes me look like, I don't know, it looks weird, like a clown or something. Okay, but now we're getting to like the most exciting part for me. We're now on to the last YouTuber, which I am obsessed with. Um, pretty much love all of these things. I'm so excited to share with you guys. And that is Amanda Steele's steel collection. Absolutely love everything I got. And I just can't wait to see everything I got. I'm so excited. So the first thing is this steel hoodie, which I love. Can you guys tell right here? It says steel in this velvet material and the rest is just normal hoodie material i love my hoodies but this is super cute and i love this detail right here it's just such a cute comfortable hoodie and i'm so excited to be able to wear this the next thing i'm gonna try on is this satin dress and it's just one of those trendy dresses that like everybody has and it's so cute. I'm in love with this, like just wait until you see this on. It's also so freaking soft. It's so cute and I am so excited to wear this out. I also got this super cute bralette. I'm not gonna show you guys me just in my bralette but I will insert a picture of what the model looks like wearing this. The next item I got were these patent leather skinny jeans. They're literally crazy. I've been wanting think, something like this for a while and these are crazy. So I'm just gonna show you guys what these look like on. The so one note I do have on these pants are, they are super long. The next item I got was this vegan suede mini skirt. I basically just needed some basics in my closet for going out. I realized as soon as I turned 21 that I did not have clothes for that. I also got this leather skirt, so simple yet so cute. As you can clearly tell, my favorite brand from all of these is Steel. She has such chic staples that everybody needs in their closet. Suki is a cute brand, but they're just kind of basic pieces and the international shipping is crazy expensive. Lauren Elizabeth's stuff was okay. Could I have lived without both of those pieces? Yes. And then Eggy, she has some very interesting pieces, but I'm not sure that I was convinced enough to shop on her website again. I don't know. I just seem to be looking for pieces that are going to last in my wardrobe for a long time rather than trendy pieces that I am just going to wear for a little bit and then get sick of them. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!